I'm going to be sewing two bare blocks again this month because next month I want to kick things up a notch and try something a little different. So this is the color palette I'll be working with. Um, the green is for March and the gray is for April and these little scrap pieces are for the inner ear. I was having a hard time deciding which color I wanted to use for the inner ear, so I thought maybe I'd just completely surround the scrap to get a better sense of um, how the colors work together. For instance, I like green and pink if it's done subtly, but I think this was a little too subtle maybe. It really uh, blended in too much. But I noticed when I surrounded this scrap with the uh, main fabric that there was this echo of a the dark green in the scrap and the dark green in the fabric. And I really liked that, that was good. And when I paired this sort of icy blue with the gray, it was too cool, so it was sort of boring. There wasn't a lot of contrast. And on the other hand, this is a great fun stripe, but it's just a little too much. I think it would pull focus from the um, final block. And for this, I was, I was enjoying the sort of organic feel of the inner ear print with the geometric uh, main fabric. I cut fabric and finished the lower portion of the face off camera a little earlier because I want to uh, focus on the ear blocks this month. I'm still really loving this box, by the way. Very helpful. Although I added some command strips that don't do anything at all. They did not improve. This first step really sets the tone for the rest of the block. There are a lot of sew and flip diagonal seams going on in this tiny little block. Um, I like to lay out my pieces like this so that I can keep in mind that these are um, mirrored blocks. If they, I keep them mirrored as I prepare them, there's less uh, opportunity for me to make a mistake. I'm only going to show my glue basting procedure this one time so it doesn't get repetitive during the video, but basically um, I'm going to, well usually I would protect my felt mat with a piece of freezer paper so I didn't get glue all over it, but I guess I was feeling reckless and lazy and uh, I skipped it. I don't recommend that. Um, but I pull back the corner of these diagonal um, seams and I just place a dot on either end and in the middle sometimes and uh, I try to make sure that my glue doesn't end up in my um, seam line I want it to be in my seam allowance and then when I press to heat set it I like to cover the block with a another piece of freezer paper because of that can you imagine trying to peel that off of a hot iron not fun I'm gonna show you again real quick um, I'm gonna speed it up this time I've been working on using my glue more sparingly because a little really does go a long way. And press. And there you go. I take that straight to the machine. After I sew, I do a quick finger press to make sure none of my glue got into my seam line. Um, it's not a big deal if it does, I just have to make sure and pull the pieces apart to expose the true seam line, or else I could end up losing extra fabric in the seam allowance and things get wonky. Um, I also like to press before I trim off the extra pieces because this is a bias seam that we're sewing, and I think that little bit of extra fabric um, gives it a little more strength and stability while I press so it's less likely for things to get stretched and warped. These are the only straightforward, run-of-the-mill, boring, average, straight seams in these little ear blocks, and I love them, and I miss them when they're gone. When I got to this next step for the first time, I was tempted to sew both pieces uh, at once without pressing and trimming in between, but then I noticed how uh, close the corners of these pieces got to the seam allowances, and I decided to play it safe. Doing them one at a time might take a little longer, but I think it's better in the long run than having to seam rip and re-sew things. I hate having to sew things twice.
This is the last set of diagonal seams you have to do for these little tiny itty bitty uh, ear pieces. It is such a relief when I get to this point because the end is in sight. <laughs> Can you tell I don't like diagonal seams? And I have to do a bazillion of them for each ear. Basically these are gonna round off the ear as much as you can round something off with a straight line anyway. And there they are. I'm really happy with the inner ear colors. I think it's all working really well together and they're gonna enhance the completed bear block without being distracting or pulling focus. All that's left is to add the forehead to the ear pieces and then that upper ear bar to the lower face and then we're done. But let's just skip to the reveal, shall we? And just like that, I'm ahead of schedule. And that's pretty rare for me. Next month we're going to switch things up a bit, kick things up a notch, I don't know, we're gonna do something different. I hope to see you again soon.